How's it going? I'm Gareth Pronovost and I help people get organized and automated using Airtable and Zapier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow your business email list using tags. And all of this is going to be done from an automated system that we're going to build from your Airtable CRM. So quick rewind here. This is for folks who have an Airtable CRM or a database already set up where they're collecting contacts. And if you want to add a tag, for individuals that are going to, it's gonna help segment them so that you can send them very specific emails inside your MailChimp. This video is a for you. All right, folks, as I mentioned in the intro, we are going to be taking a look at three very critical things for running a small business. One, Airtable, which helps you organize two, Zapier, which helps you automate, and three, MailChimp, which helps you get your email list cranking. So uh, what we're gonna do in this Zap is build the whole automation process from taking somebody and tagging them, this is really important, to really get the power out of your email marketing campaigns. It's really great when you group the folks in that list and send them emails that are targeted to their specific use case. But before we move on, Take just a moment, click subscribe if you are all about that Airtable Zapier life. Check this out because that is what we put out on this channel all the time. Uh, we're all about helping you uh, grow your business through Airtable data organization and Zapier automation. So check it out, definitely subscribe. But let's get on into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen. Let's jump on in. So what we have here, again, three places we're running out of. We've got MailChimp, we've got Airtable, and we've got Zapier. Okay, so starting off with MailChimp here, this is obviously a brand new list, a fake list, and what we're really looking to is add this client type here. This is in the groups section. So if you haven't used groups before, this is how you can target the folks in your email list. And you, basically you're setting up uh, um, a classification so that you can segment the folks who are in that list and give them stuff that is you know, marketed specifically to them. Let me give you a quick example here. In my business, I deal with uh, three major buckets, if you will, of, of clients. And so that, that's what I've set up in this example. I've got done for you clients, and these are the guys uh, and gals who just like want the whole thing built out for them, right? They don't want to touch it. They don't, they don't have the time. They're growing their business and they're like, do it for me. Cool. Also got hourly clients. Hourly clients are the ones who are like, um, you know what, I wanna roll up my own sleeves and figure this stuff out, but I'm gonna probably run into trouble, so like, let me call you every now and again. Also cool. And then lastly, I've got content lovers, and these are the folks who haven't necessarily become clients or aren't buying from me yet, but I'm still not gonna like kick them off my content, right? So obviously, each of these groups is going to be kept in like, you know, their own, they're each getting their own unique marketing stuff, right? So I don't want to just send out the same message to everybody, right? So that's what we're doing here. So in this really simple Airtable base that we're going to look at now, we've got, I mean, yours could, is going to have these important fields as well. You've got to have a name. You probably have it broken out, first name, last name. Cool. Uh, you have to have an email, otherwise this whole thing doesn't work. And then uh, the tags. The tags are important. That's how we're going to, you know, group these folks. And then lastly, I want you to create uh, an import to MailChimp, MailChimp button. And this is how you are going to just click this button off and say, hey, yeah, that's what we're going to do now is, is uh, send that data over to MailChimp. That, this is basically like the enter button, you know, on a form, right? So let's, uh, let's jump in here and like take an example. So the first thing we need to do inside Airtable is build a unique view for each tag. So what I've done here is I've just built a view for the done for you clients. So let's take a look. Going down here, we've got the done for you or the DFY view. And we've got a couple filters set up on this view. Two filters. One, the import to MailChimp button has to be checked. This is what allows that to like function like an enter button, right? But it only works once because every record is only going to appear in this for the first time one time. And then the other part is the filter of the tag. So we're looking for a tag that includes done for you clients. You don't want it to say is exactly because that means it's only that. Has any of means it could have any other number of tags, but we're looking specifically for this one. All right. So anytime a new tag meets both of those filters or a new record meets both of those filters, it's going to appear here. When that happens, we're going to take that information and push it into MailChimp automatically. 
and we're gonna include that tag. All right, so let's jump on back in. So we've already got Steve Martin here, and let's go ahead and see if we can add one more. Let's go ahead and tag Jim Carrey with a done for you client. So we're adding him to that group. And then we're gonna say import to MailChimp. And as soon as we do that, we would expect him to show up in that other view. Let's look at DFY view. There's Jim Carrey looking good. All right, so now let's jump into Zapier, pull in Jim Carrey's information and take a look at how this Zap works. The first thing we're gonna do is set up the Zap so that it's pulling in a new record in a particular view. What view? I'm glad you asked. It is the view we just set up, the DFY view in uh, Airtable. And so we're gonna be looking specifically to that and we're gonna add that DFY, the done for you tag, right? So let's go ahead and pull in some more samples and see if we can find that new record that we just pushed over for uh, Jim Carrey. There he is, Jim at Jim Carrey, awesome. And we're looking specifically for that tag as well, right? All right, great. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with this and now here's where we're gonna set up a filter. Now a filter is gonna say, if this condition is not met in by Zapier, then we're gonna kick this out. We're gonna stop running the Zap. If it is met, we're gonna continue the Zap. And this is the important key to getting this to work correctly. So setting up that filter, we only continue if, and then what are those conditions, or what is that condition? We say that the tag and the tag is, is what's picked here in Airtable, this tag field. So the tag field exactly matches done for you clients, right? If that is met, then we're gonna continue. If it is not, folks, this app stops working in its tracks. Let's, con let's test that. And you see that the zap would have continued. We got the green light here. And that is because, jumping back into this example, we've already added that done for you tag to Jim Carrey. Cool. All right, so we know that it's gonna move forward. So then the next question is, what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna add him to MailChimp or update his MailChimp account with the tag. So let's go ahead and look at what that template looks like in MailChimp. So of course, we have to name off the list and we have to name off the subscriber email. As you see, these are required fields. That's kind of a no-brainer. Up to you entirely if you want that double opt-in. And I would suggest updating an existing client. Um, in this way, if they already exist, it's gonna update with new information. All right, lastly, we're gonna jump down here into uh, replace groups. We've got that. And, uh, and so I like it on add only, but you can play with the other filters. And then we're gonna take a look and we're gonna add the group type. Now, because this record has to have passed the filter of the client type is done for you clients, then that's the group that we're selecting here. So we're gonna make sure that it gets added to that done for you clients. So let's go ahead. If you wanted to bring in first name, last name, all this other stuff, you could do that here. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue here and we're gonna test this zap out. Let's retest it. And we're gonna send that test off. Hopefully we get a green light, moment of truth. There we go, we got the green light. The zap is working. Let's jump on in to MailChimp and take a look at what comes through. Here we go, we're loading up our list, and we see that this third subscriber has been added. There is Jim Carrey, jim at garethpronovost.com, and we've got the client type done for you clients now, and that's what we wanted to see. So basically, folks, what we're trying to do here is making sure that we have that segmentation added into our MailChimp, because now when we start crafting MailChimp campaigns and email campaigns from MailChimp, we are gonna be able to send off these emails to specific groups. So we can say, hey, the done for you clients, they get this message, and the hourly clients, they get another message. <laughs> All right, as always folks, I hope you found this to be super helpful. If you did, please be sure to click subscribe, like the video, and uh, if you have any custom work you need a little help with, definitely check out the description below where I have included a link to my Calendly. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. I would love to hear about how I can help. In the meantime, Best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.